We are never too far from risk when driving, as we can't control the way other motorists drive or what hazards we might find on the road ahead of us. To remain safe, we must use our experience and judgment to drive in a way that will allow for other people's mistakes or unseen hazards. This is called defensive driving. In this video, we will show how we use the basic principles of defensive driving to keep safe and decrease the chance of having an accident. As always, if you have any questions about the video, then please leave a comment and we will reply as soon as we can. Defensive driving is all about being observant, anticipating problems and planning ahead. We must think about what we can see and what it means for us, and then use that information to decide how to drive as safely as possible. If we notice that there are many pedestrians waiting at a bus stop, there might be a bus approaching. Or if the rubbish bins are outside each house, the dustbin lorry must be nearby. We should always consider what might happen and drive accordingly, so we have time to react when we find something unusual in front of us. We can't control what others do, but we can make sure we keep ourselves as safe as possible behind the wheel by making our own decisions and not making assumptions about what others will do. We must stay focused when driving, as there are a lot of things we need to think about. If we concentrate, we can look out for adverse road conditions, road markings and signs, keeping our speed safe, our gear selection correct, and maintaining a good road position. However, if we allow ourselves to be distracted by our phone, by eating, or even by other people in our car, we may react slower to hazards or even miss them altogether putting us in danger. Even very experienced drivers can get complacent and let their attention slip, so we must remind ourselves to stay focused when behind the wheel. We need to maintain an adequate clearance to other vehicles near us, so that if something unusual happens we will have space and time to react. There are four rules we must always follow to maintain a safety gap around our car. They are, follow other vehicles at least two seconds behind, allow a full doors width gap to parked cars, stop a safe distance behind other stationary traffic, and also to position diagonally to other vehicles on multi-lane roads. For more detail on these rules, please watch our other video called Adequate Clearance. We must keep an awareness of what is around our car at all times. So if we need to react to a hazard quickly, we already know which way we can steer without colliding with another vehicle. To do this, we check our mirrors regularly and look ahead as far as possible. If we then spot another vehicle braking hard or a cyclist about to cross the road in front of us, we can slow down well before we are in any danger. If we hear or spot an emergency vehicle approaching from behind us, it is much easier to deal with if we have time to consider our options. We like to be considerate of others, but we must also look out for ourselves. When joining a dual carriageway, we never assume another driver will move out of the way to allow us to merge. When we are proceeding at a green traffic light, we still look out for other drivers driving through their red light. Other drivers will make mistakes, so when we plan ahead, we try to anticipate the worst case scenario and allow for it. Just because the car in front of us is indicating doesn't mean it will actually turn. Unless we can physically see the vehicle turning, that action hasn't been confirmed. If there is any doubt, 
we wait and see what the driver does rather than presuming they even realise that their indicators are on. We will need to consider the correct speed to drive, since speed limits are only the maximum possible speed and not a target. In ideal conditions, we may be able to drive up to the maximum allowed, but when weather, traffic or road conditions are poor, then it is our responsibility to drive at a safe speed that will allow us to react to any hazard we come across. We always adjust our speed before a bend and then drive at a constant speed around the bend to keep the car balanced. Braking and steering at the same time makes it much more likely to lose control. So we always plan ahead and slow down in plenty of time. The rule we always follow is that we must be able to stop in the amount of road we can see to be clear in case we come across something blocking our lane. This means we can safely drive faster when we can see lots of clear road ahead of us, but must slow right down when we see much less clear road. If another driver flashes their headlamps at us, we still take time to decide whether the flash was meant for us and only proceed if we think it is safe. When crossing a giveaway line, if our view is blocked by another vehicle, we don't trust their judgment enough to go when they go, as they might be willing to take a chance that would put us in danger. If we expect other drivers to do what we would normally do, then they could surprise us if they do something else. If we keep a safe distance and wait until we can see it is safe to proceed, we can reduce the chance of having an accident. When driving in busy places, there will be lots of pedestrians. We must be prepared for anything they might do. Young children might run out in front of us, and adults distracted by their phone may not see us driving towards them as they cross the road. If we drive at a lower speed, it will allow us to react to danger quickly, and even if there is an accident, it will be at a lower speed and less damage or injury caused. When in areas that have many tourists, remember that they might forget that we drive on the other side of the road to them and they could look the wrong way before crossing the road. We would recommend using the principles of defensive driving on the driving test, as it will help prevent us getting ourselves into a situation where we could be forced to react suddenly. If we put our trust in other drivers, then they might surprise us somehow, which could lead to a serious fault and a test fail. Instead, if we drive defensively, staying alert, maintaining adequate clearance and anticipating the actions of others, we will have a much higher chance of passing. So remember to stay alert and distraction free. Maintain adequate clearance to other vehicles. Control our speed carefully. And look ahead and expect the unexpected. If you found this video interesting then please click our logo to subscribe to our channel as it really helps other people find our videos. If you would like to help support this channel then please click the Patreon link to find out about our crowdfunding campaign. Thanks for watching.